If you're looking to transfer from Huobi to your MetaMask wallet without losing any of your funds, here's what you need to know. Step 1. Select which network to deposit on MetaMask. If you already have MetaMask installed in your web browser, you can click on the extension and select which network you'd like to deposit your assets on. You are able to add multiple networks to your MetaMask wallet. For more info, you can check out my playlist over here to find out how you can add these networks to MetaMask. Your MetaMask wallet deposit address is the same, regardless of which network you choose. What is more important is that you're choosing the correct network to withdraw from Huobi. You can click here to copy your deposit address. Step 2. Paste the deposit address on Huobi. On Huobi's platform, you can select balances and spot account. And in this example, I'll be withdrawing Ethereum. So I'll search for Ethereum and click on withdraw. I can paste the deposit address that I've copied from MetaMask. Step 3. Select which network to withdraw to MetaMask. Huobi allows you to withdraw Ethereum to any of these four networks. So you should select the correct one when sending it to MetaMask. For example, if you'd like to send Ethereum to the Ethereum mainnet, then you should select the ETH network. If you want to send Ethereum to the BNB smart chain, then you should select the BEP20 network. Likewise, if you want to send Ethereum to the Heco chain, then you should select the Heco mainnet. Step 4. Select the amount of cryptocurrency to withdraw. You can enter the amount of ETH to withdraw, and you can view the fee that is charged by Huobi. After clicking on withdraw, you'll be able to view ETH in your MetaMask wallet, depending on which network you use to withdraw from Huobi. Let's go through another example to deposit USDT to MetaMask. Huobi allows you to withdraw USDT using seven different networks. However, you can only send USDT to MetaMask via the ERC20, BEP20, or Heco chain networks. This is because the other four networks are not EVM compatible, so you won't be able to add them to MetaMask. If you want to send USDT to the BNB smart chain, you should select the BEP20 network. The same will apply for the Heco chain. If you want to send USDC to the Ethereum mainnet, you should select the ERC20 network. The same will apply to HRC20 where you send it to the Heco chain. You can't send USDC using the TRC20 or Solana networks as they are not EVM compatible. If you want to send USDC using the Solana network, you can send it to other wallets like Phantom and you can check out my guide here on how you can do so. The last step is similar where you can select the amount of USDC to withdraw and after clicking the withdraw button, you will be able to receive USDC in your MetaMask wallet. I would suggest sending a small amount of cryptocurrency each time to ensure that the withdrawal process works. After that, you can send the remainder of your funds. The key thing to note is that MetaMask separates the USDC balances based on the network they are on. As such, it is very important to choose the correct network when you are sending to MetaMask. So this is how you can transfer your funds from Huobi to MetaMask. If you found this guide useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can check out my other guides over here.